So why are circles and squares the only shapes with 360 degrees? This is such a great question. Let's talk about this. So if you have a polygon, here's some examples of polygons. If n is the number of sides, you can find out the total number of degrees inside of that polygon. So for triangles, for example, if we plug a 3 in for the n, 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 180 tells us that these three angles add up to 180 degrees. We can also do it for a square. If we plug in a 4 for the n, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 times 180 equals 3. 360. And that means these four angles add up to 360 degrees. And we can repeat this for all the other polygons and find out the sum of all the interior angles for each of these shapes. A pentagon's 540, a hexagon is 720, an octagon's 1080, and so on. So why is it that a circle is said to have 360 degrees and a square has 360 degrees, but none of the other shapes do? Well, what is so special about a square and a circle? Well, the trick here is this 360 degrees in a square is adding up angles. In a circle, that 360 degrees is is your central angles. If we add up all of these, these will always add up to 360. So the reason they both are 360 is it's measuring different things. So if we cut up a circle like this, and here's the center, if we pull them out and do this with it, we can see that they form a square. Let's bring these back. You can see that this angle right here was this angle, this angle was this angle, this angle was this angle, and this angle was this angle. It's true, they both have 360 degrees, but they're just measuring different things. That was an amazing question. Thank you so much. Comment below on what you'd like me to talk about next. You guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you soon.